everybody. This is Tiff and Tattle from the Leaning Oaks Homestead. We are doing another unboxing video. This time we are unboxing the oh, <laughs> Spicy Peppers from Garden Republic. Um, this is one of their new boxes. You'll see it's a lot bigger than the last one I did. This one is a grow box, which means it has um, the grow bags and the um, dirt soil stuff in it. So we are going to unbox this thing and my lovely assistant. Oh, i got to show you the box. Isn't it awesome? Hey, yeah. So same as last time. This is kind of burned in the top. It's a nice little box. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Um, the website says this is bamboo. So now you know. I didn't know last time. Um, so it's got the little thumb thing. You just slide it out. No hinges or anything like that. And my able-bodied assistant is going to peppers. hand me the stuff. So the first one out of the box is the habaneros. And then the Anaheim peppers. And then the jalapeno peppers. And then the... Cayenne peppers. So there's four peppers in this pack. And, and the awesome. seeds are as awesome as they were last time. You can feel the plastic. Um, if you saw the pictures, they, they seal the seeds in plastic on the inside. So um, it's vacuum sealed, actually. It's plastic and, like, foil. So it really, really good stuff. Um, cool. And then we have... So seeds. Okay. We have the instructions you can't ignore what it is it tells you and it explains all about the peppers and um, has everything that's on the back of the seed packet right here again but it also talks about before you dig it um, before you put them in the seat um, the dirt and all of that stuff stuff you need to do um, and then it talks about expanding the soil discs and really cool, um, actually. It actually tells you the exact same stuff on the other. <laughs> I don't know about that. But anyway. Okay. So here's this. What comes next? Bye-bye. Alright, so um just like the last time, you can register your seeds. So if you go to this website and you register your seeds and something is wrong with them, um, they will replace them. Just tell them um, any varieties that don't sprout in the germination, the sprout time, germination time. Um, you can just tell them. And as long as you've registered it, they will send you more. Isn't that awesome? Um, wow. In this case, it also says that seed varieties may vary depending on um, seasonality and harvest time and availability. Um you can get seeds that are different from what's on the plant on the label. So, um, yeah, like this one, I was supposed to get poblano peppers, and I didn't. I got the um, Anaheim peppers instead. So, but they're um, better. So, yeah, you know, seasonal stuff. More. So, also, last time I showed you the plant steaks, and these are the plant steaks this time. There should be another one in there somewhere. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. So, um, these are a little bit better. So, it has even the sewed on date. Um, so, you don't have to remember when you put it in the dirt. Um, so, ooh ah, ooh ah. These are a lot bigger than the last ones were. So, there's four of them. One for each seed packet. Just like last time. So there's I know that. This is very uninteresting, but it is. I forgot what they're called. She says they're uninteresting because she doesn't know what they are. Um, <laughs> it actually comes with little snips. Snippy, snippy. So you don't want to touch the peppers when you um, when they're hard when you harvest them because you'll get the oils and stuff on your fingers, and then you know you accidentally rub your eyes and it burns. So what you do, you don't rip it off the thing like we did that calamondin. Orange oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you snip it. Snip, 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 snip. So these are just scissors. Go snip, snip. And these are just scissors. But yeah. they, you pinch them to cut. Oh, she's, she's like, I know, so I went, oh. So, like, I'll say that I planned this. Yeah, you, please don't do that. You go. 
and then cut it. Okay. So, so it looks, looks like this. Watch. <laughs> I made a dent. All right. So, okay. snips, which are very, very cool. I like them. Um, good sturdy ones, too. And important. So, um, next. Next are the grow bags, which are absolutely adorable. Look at them. Aren't they cute? Um, so, this is the size of the little grow bag. Um, it's so cute. Lined in plastic. Leaves so. out. Um, it's even got a little drain hole in the bottom, so you don't have to worry about mold or anything on the inside. Um, so, little grow bags. Um, there's one for each of our little seed buddies. So, that will be fun. I don't have to wait on your sister to eat baby food to get the containers. Um, next is this. I have no idea what it is, but... These are the these dirt. are the soil dirt soil discs. You're exactly right. Oh, they're soil. I see um, dirt. So according to the instructions, instructions. According to the instructions, we have to place the soil disc in a large boil boil <laughs> in a large bowl. Pour two cups of warm water directly on the discs, and then add more water as necessary, but do not oversaturate. Then drain it. And gently crumble the soil and place it inside the burlap pot. So that these are burlap. I kind of thought they were, but I didn't want to say so until I looked it up. The burlap pot. Um, and then put, this, put aside a small amount of soil for covering the seeds. So there you go. Um, and it's also, you know, the rest of the box just has... Just stuffy. Filling. stuffy. Um, what's really oh. cool is they did put plastic on the bottom. Because it is a wooden box and it's got d dirt and the pack is kind of open to the dirt, you see it. So it would have made a gigantic mess all over the place. So, bad. so there you go, and it's it's a nice little box. It's a nice little box. Ooh. Little stamp on the bottom. <laughs> the that's the spice